Hello, this is MRR Clex for the final part of Binder 1 of 3. Say that 20 times fast. So anyways, on this part, we're going to start with, off with Estonia. Uh, really cool, uh, unique design. Uh, kind of nice uh, reds there. And there are a bank that the uh, big tree on the back, which is, you know, kind of cool. Nothing overstated, no gaudy, big, massive uh, monuments. And... Uh, just kind of a nice little scene there. Uh, 25, really nice greens. Uh, great, nice, big, uh, reflective or um, um, patterned security strip. Uh, and the back is uh, more of a village scene. I kind of like that, you know, they're just uh, showing, you know, everyday life, looks like to me. So... This one's really my favorite of the series with uh, the female figure and uh, again with the holographic, yes, holographic or different reflective security strip. This is interesting. The serial number is in the, that's, actually I hadn't even thought about that before, but usually the serial number is out here somewhere in the clear, but this one, that's uh, a little unusual uh, as far as I can tell. And then the back with the ocean waves breaking on the cliff. Uh, definitely don't want to be in that spot right there but um, beautiful bluish note and definitely cool to have in the books here's one that a lot of you might be familiar with uh, it's uh, from some strange land east of New York anyways uh, it's a five euro note yes it's probably I think I'm working on two o'clock in the morning so um, uh, nice to have I'm gonna probably Break down and at least get up through that 200 euro. Um, uh, but I may have to hide it from the wife because she may kill me. Uh, I know I've mentioned budgets before, but um, uh, this is cool. It's kind of, this is a Roman, uh, looks like a Roman aqueduct. or uh, It's not a bridge. This is a, I don't believe it's a bridge, but. Uh, it could be. It's either a road or a lot of times they, they built these to move water. But uh, great nondescript architecture. I know they they didn't uh, put recognizable or overly recognizable uh, monuments on the, on the notes or architecture because to avoid uh, having to highlight one country over others. So this is, again, the Euro. I think they're up to, like, 24 countries now, minus uh, Great Britain. Um, but they didn't never use the Euro anyway, so... Yeah, that's easy enough. Uh, this is the newer five with uh, reflective, different color reflective uh, ink. And updated security features. Uh, but the same Romanesque um, columns or bridge type. Yeah, but anyways, here's the 10. And I don't have the 20 because, good gosh, they want uh, the place I really found it. They're pretty proud of them. So I, I may try my hand at uh, getting them through another method. Uh, but again, uh, nice looking familiar banknotes. And so now we have Fiji. Uh, Fiji $2 with Queen Elizabeth uh, II on them again. And really cool colorful scene of uh, children happy children we're going to go with happy children on them and so next we get in a newer polymer note uh cool parrots or uh, uh, uh i'm gonna go can't really quite read it yet i'll have to look it up on my uh, on my screen and then the back with i'm gonna go fairly safe to say that's an iguana if not it is a lizard of some type okay Again, uh, not meaning to uh, insult anybody here. So Fiji uh, is seven dollar note. Yes, that's a seven dollar note, uh, but it's commemorative of them winning the uh, World Rugby Championships. So I was kind of like, oh wow, it's soccer or football. Uh, that I was always carrying the ball, and I did, I did read through it uh, for the rugby championships, and. Uh, whether they call that Olympians, um, seven-time gold Olympians, Fiji rugby. 
So very cool that they're celebrating uh, um, uh, some wins. Uh, sports notes. Again, there's not a lot, a huge amount of sports on bank notes, but there are some, and you could almost do a subset of sports. So 10 Fiji, uh, this is a, a kind of a cool reflective, large uh, medallion looking thing there. And then a really cool um, raft, covered raft in a traditional fashion. So a little more washed out, but it would be nice, you know, here, the, here we're getting a little more of the vibrant colors in the newer notes with a, a, a fish. Uh, almost looks like a flying fish. And a little more, a little more, they're getting a little more vibrant in their colors. Uh, ink does cost money, and sometimes printing technologies, uh, you do what you can. Uh, and here's 20 Fiji's with the great, great uh, flying scene up front. And the back has another stylized scene in the back. Looks like some logging going on. Oh, I just had, just gave me some. I had some memory flashes. Okay, and we're on to Finland. Just picked this up. It's not the, you know, it's an older note, and but it's in uh, it's in good condition. Uh, again, it looks more like a coupon on the back, but uh, these are, uh, I believe these are, yeah, Panky is their uh, unit monetary unit, P A N K K I. Um, or I'm either butchering that, so it wouldn't be the first time. Not that I'm doing it on purpose. Uh, the 10, uh, Panky, we're going to go with that. Again, uh, great blue. I mean, this is one of the darker blues um, that I've seen, and uh, definitely I'm going to go with a European uh, design. Almost uh, coupon-esque, but very uh, interesting design. It almost looks like a track and field but uh, don't don't hold me to that. And the next is a twenty, and I'm gonna be a little bit mad about this, or maybe not. Maybe I didn't bend it, but when I was pulling it out, the uh, the foil stuck to the plastic, which is real. No, I think it is got a little bit of a thing in there. It didn't really crease the note, but it didn't make me happy either when I pulled it out. So. Um, I'm trying not to touch these notes, and I'm trying not to cause damage, but I'm a little surprised that it's stuck to the plastic a little bit. So I'll have to be a little bit more careful. I'll have to slide my fingers in to make sure it separates from the plastic before I start pulling on them. Was kind of in a hurry tonight, uh, trying to get this done. But this is an uh, awesome scene. Um, I don't think, I don't know if this is a water scene, if these buildings are like Venice where it's on a canal, but quite possible. Um, but it's still, it's, uh, it's a nice design for bank note. It's a little bit different, a little bit different. So next up is, uh, again, this, this is probably one of the most, probably one of the higher cost bank notes that I've ever, uh, purchased so far. Uh, 200 francs, uh, from France. We, we've gotten to France, but this is actually Eiffel on the front. That one I know. Because uh, of the Eiffel Tower as I hit the camera. It's a hostility thing I have. Uh, beautiful bank note. Uh, I'm going to say I paid probably in the air. I paid over 50 bucks for this. Uh, 50 US dollars. I'm going to probably more like 60 and change. Um, but, and that's, that's reaching the high, the top end for me to, uh, you know, to put in, uh, of investment I want to put in one piece of paper. Uh, but the great scene of the Eiffel, the bottom of the Eiffel Tower there. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful note. Uh, I believe it's the last series. And uh, really happy to have that. Uh, the French notes, again, because they influence so many countries, this classical, either um, classical painted, uh, almost oil paint design. Um, this is 100 francs. And yes, this is a nude note, so, but it is a classical uh, French Revolution note, so that is not, uh, uh, I'm going to say it's not uh, obscene, and uh, then uh, that's just, and these are pre-Euro, of course, I've got two in there, actually. So occasionally I do keep my, I, I have put my uh, duplicates in there, 
but uh, I, I usually don't, but occasionally I do. And uh, I believe this is Debussy. And, uh, so this is 20 francs. And there they do highlight their uh, artists. And they have artists to highlight. So, uh, again, a great note. I was... Uh, it doesn't look like it's still overly expensive. I don't know what years. They do have several issues depending on um, what you collect, but I'm just glad to have the artwork of it. So here's my favorite note. Um, one of the favorite notes I've ever collected. Uh, might have to zoom out. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here a little bit for this because... Um, this is a uh, 1,000 francs uh, from 1942, and uh, the date's in there somewhere. Um, but anyways, uh, this is just a beautiful stinking note, and this note is almost 80 years old, and when I pulled it out, the one of the few times I've touched it, it literally has the uh, feel of tissue paper. It is such light and fragile paper. Um, and then the back is just just amazing uh, it is in uh, as perfect I believe I got this from a guy in Italy and he posted up that he had a fresh he found in a safe a fresh bundle or 100 notes and the more you bought the closer to the middle you got the sweet spot of a bundle so less damage so this is like 58 and then I originally bought three, so I have two left. I did sell one during a downtime. And so I do have two that are consecutive serial numbers, which sometimes that means something to some people, but oh well. Um, still, not selling this one probably ever. Uh, you probably have to pry it out of my chubby, chubby old man fingers. Old man fingers. And so then a, kind of an example of the French style. Uh, so that was a, an actual French note. And this one is from uh, the French Pacific. Let's see what they call this. Uh, uh, anyways, um, Pacific, uh, Pacific French territories. Um, not, uh, there's, there's another one that's ungodly expensive. But uh, France does have, it, or did have, its territories. So this is an absolutely beautiful note. It's 500 francs. That French design with the local style, with the local uh, scenery. And the guy on the front. Uh, it's just, you know, beautiful condition. Uh, I just, you know, it's one of those you just see and you're like, oh, I'll take it. <laughs> How much? How much do you want? And then here's 1,000. Uh, just an amazing note. Great design work. Floral patterns. Um, I love these things, man. They're just so interesting. Compared to my boring, boring dollar bills, I will take these any day. And in the back is a, an outstanding scene. These are kind of still affordable, but I wouldn't hold on to that for very long for much longer uh they also have uh, a new series out so they're obviously not printing them anymore um so this is again um french pacific territories 1000 same denomination same denomination updated style similar color but and then this one has the the sea turtles and the manta ray on it uh might be an eagle ray not uh, not sure exactly which but uh, well, <laughs> I don't think you can really tell from, from just the note, but, uh, beautiful on the front and beautiful on the back, a little less, uh, cluttered if you want to call that clutter, but they, uh, they've gotten to, uh, you know, it looks a little more clean or a little less, uh, they, they definitely don't have the, uh, the recognizable style that they did from the older notes. And so that brings us to Gambia. Here's five Delices. I'm uh, thinking Delices. Hold on. Uh, yeah, Delices. Whoo, pulled that one out. <laughs> the, the pastoral scene. 
little harder you can kind of uh, see that these originated from a picture but again you know uh, these are I believe the newer series and uh, so they're not that old there's the 10 Delisi's uh, building I might be the uh, so a lot of times they'll they're actually the uh, um, the banking authority so I don't know if that's a government building or um, the actual bank that uh, produces the notes there's the 20 and nice bird on the front at least they changed the front a little bit and maybe that looks more like a palace than a government building or an institution somebody's Villa Dacha however you want to call it and there we have uh, Germany a five friend uh, five Deutschmarks and uh, had to remember my they're not Franks they're Deutschmarks uh, pretty cool uh, German note pre-euro and here's I believe this is a later 10 and uh, Looks like, uh, not exactly sure if this is a trident or a, you know, compass of some kind. Um, but it's kind of cool. Technology note. Counts as technology. And then the 10. I'm wondering, um, Deutsche Bank. I'll have to make sure that this is, uh, I don't think this is East Germany. But the tall ship on the back says, I don't care where it's from. <laughs> Yeah, it's from Germany, and uh, that's uh, that's pretty cool scene right there for their notes. Okay, so that actually finishes binder one. Um, whew, two more binders to go, probably another six to eight parts uh, for the notes in the binders. So thanks for sticking it out. Uh, appreciate it. And hey, if you like it, like it. If you just want to subscribe, subscribe it. Uh, otherwise, if you want to hang out, comment, say, uh, you know, let me know where you're from. Uh, and uh, if you want to see your country's notes, I'll probably be doing uh, country-specific uh, videos somewhere down the line. So thanks a bunch and have a great evening. See you later. Bye.